if they say increase by a quarter, that means plus one quarter. But if they say increasing some number by a quarter of what that number was, well, that's not additive, that's multiplicative. The quarter in this case is not just a quarter. It's a quarter of something, and the word of, of course, translates into multiplication. A quarter of 100, for example, is 25. How did I get 25? I multiplied a quarter times 100. So what are we exactly multiplying by when a number is increased by a quarter of what that number originally was? Well, if I set up a three-way ratio, I have original, I have increase, the increase is a quarter of the original, so I'll use the numbers 4 and 1 for this ratio. And then the new number after the increase would be 5 ratio units, because we started from 4 ratio units, we added 1 ratio unit, we got to 5 ratio units. And when I compare the new number to the original number in this ratio, I see that the new number is exactly 5 fourths as big as the original number. So now I can say when you're increasing a number by a quarter of what that number was, really what you're doing is you're multiplying by a factor of five quarters. Now in this case, we're told that this farmer is doing that four times in a row. He's multiplying the number of trees by five quarters over and over again four times. It says each year for four years. So that's five quarters to the power of four and the reason I'm using an exponent is because we are doing repetitive multiplication. We're multiplying by five quarters over and over again, four times. So whatever the starting number of trees was, at the end, it would be that starting number multiplied by five quarters to the power of four. Now, it's a good idea to memorize that five to the power of four is 625, and four to the power of four is 256. So we now know that the original number multiplied by 625 over 256 equals the ending number, which according to the question is 6,250. Now it's not a coincidence that we get to reduce very nicely here. The GMAT did that on purpose. So if we reduce both sides by 625, we end up with a starting number divided by 256 equals 10, and therefore the starting number itself, if we multiply both sides by 256, is 2,560. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.